In this video, we're going to learn how to use the inclusion exclusion formula to determine the number of onto functions. The inclusion exclusion formula says that given n subsets a sub one through a sub n in a universal set with the capital letter n element, if s sub k denotes the sum of the sizes of, of all k tuple intersections of the a sub i, then to determine the number of elements in the n tuple intersections of the complement of a sub i, you need to include universal set and exclude one set and include two sets, exclude three sets and keep going. Then we can have this equality. So how to use the inclusion exclusion formula to determine the number of onto functions? More precisely, given two sets A and B, how many onto functions are there from A to B? The first, what is an onto function? A function from A to B is onto if for every element in B, there exists a corresponding element A in the capital letter A such that F is equal to B. Well, to use the inclusion exclusion formula, probably the hardest part is how to set up A sub I. Well, suppose that the, the set B includes the L and N element, B sub one through B sub N. So for each I between one and N, you can let A sub I be the set of functions, okay, A to B, such that there is no corresponding element in A to the element B sub I. Well, the, in, the, in the inclusion exclusion formula, on the left side, you should think about the complement of a set. So in this case, the complement of A sub I well, the function, you know, there is a, an element in, in the set A corresponding uh, to the B sub I. So the total number of onto functions from A to B exactly as it follows, which appears on the left side of the inclusion exclusion formula. So how to compute this one? Well, you know, by just using the inclusion exclusion formula, we have to determine the number capital letter N, and also we have to determine S sub one, S sub two, and it keep going. So what is the N? What is the capital letter N? So this, you know, is actually the number of all functions from A to B. So, if the size of A is equal to just M, so we want to count the number of functions from A to B. So for each element in A, well, because B, the set B has a, a M, I'm sorry, N element. So for each element in A, there are N options there. And so we have an option again here for each element in A. And uh, because there are uh, M elements in A, so we have uh, those many functions, so, which is equal to N to the N. What about the S sub one? So for each I between one and N, well, you should be able to determine the size of A sub I. What does it, what does it, what, what is A sub I?
you actually have to exclude the element B sub i from B to actually determine the number of all functions from A to B, excluding the element B sub i. This means that B sub i is in here, but the, the, the functions, okay, the functions in A sub i actually cannot be matched to B sub i. So for each element in A actually has a not, on, not just a, uh, n option because we have to exclude the B sub i. So there are only n minus one options. And uh, because there are m elements in A, so we have m minus one to the m. Okay. And similarly, you can also determine S of J. What does S of J mean? You actually have to exclude J element, okay? So uh, you wanna count the number of all functions from A to B, and then you have to exclude the J elements there. So for each element, in A, okay, there are actually M minus J options because you have to exclude the J elements there. Okay, and there are uh, M elements in A, so we have M minus J to the M functions there. Okay, uh, well, but how many J elements? Okay, you can actually choose from N because there are n elements actually in b so that's why s of j is equal to n to j times m minus j to the n so if you keep going this one then you can have this equality thanks for watching